Okay, so so here's our here's our data set. So the first so what I've done is I've added a couple new columns here, but we'll leave that to aside for the second. So anyway, so you guys have seen this, right? And so all I've done is just sort of sorted it so that things are make a little more sense organizationally. Um, uh, and what I've done is if we come down here, I've added things up. Can you guys see this? Let me make this bigger. Okay. So, um, so what I've done is because we've entered our yeses or noes or our check marks as the number one, we can sum this stuff up. Um, so actually, let me go here first. Okay. So for example, uh, you guys counted 10,323 articles or, or approximately, you know, skim, skim 10,000 odd articles, right? And so for this, all I've done is use some of the power of our, the modern spreadsheets, which is some of the basic, uh, basic mathematical expressions. So here I said, hey dude, add by using this, so an equal sign tells Excel or Google Sheets or what have you to do something, right? Do, do some kind of calculation. So I said, hey, I want you to sum up, add up all the, the numbers between cell F5 to F395. So if I scroll up, yeah, you guys can't see this because the screen is so small. Okay, so, uh, so I say, hey, dude, at, sum up all the cells between, you know, essentially in this orange range. And so we can, we can get some summaries, right? So this is the total number of all these all the articles we got. Yeah? Everybody with me? Making sense? If not, tell me. If this, isn't, if this is not making sense. Okay. And so that's all I did here. Add up this. This is the sports articles. This is the whatever, North Korea articles. Da, 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 da. And then to get a sense of proportion, I just went right here and I said, yo, dude, divide the, divide the number of sports articles by the total number of articles. And what do we get? We get the proportion, right? Overall of, of, of the, all the stuff. And so that, that gives us sort of a big picture. What's the big pattern? How many, how many articles related to the environment? About 3%, 3-ish percent, percent of the articles in the newspaper related to the environment, whereas about 20, about a fifth of them dealt with sports, right? So, uh, so there you go. So that, that tells us where, 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 where conservation sits relative to, <laughs> relative to uh, batting scores and things of that nature, right? But in terms of things like the Iraq war, Iran war and stuff, it's, it's pretty similar, right? So three, three-ish percent, um, you know, three, two, five, right? So if it, it was fairly, uh, fairly good compared to um, some of those things, right? Okay, so that's great. So, th so that, that gives us the, smell, the first sort of big pass, okay? Then what I did is I came down here and I bin this by date. So this is everything pooled together, right? This is all, this is the stuff from December of one year and January the next and da 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 da, da that's all lumped together, right? This right here is a fine sort of initial check. This is not how you do science. You guys looking at me? This is not how we do science. So this is, this is crap in terms of of pattern looking for, right? It's good for a first pass and just sort of, you know, a mile high, but this is not rigorous science. Too often what I notice is a lot of you guys these days come in, you're like, what's the answer? The answer is sum everything up. What we're doing in this class and what you guys will do in your career is we take a replicate, we take a sample. So how many students are in this classroom or how many, how many males are in this classroom? I'm like, okay, let's count, right? And we, we count, count them up and measure and okay, we get a percentage, right? To know the, the, the typical number of males in a CSUCI classroom, we need to go to all the classrooms individually and count people in there, measure people, all that kind of stuff. But the answer is we don't just like add up all the total number of people that are on campus right now and all the males and just do some, that, that, that's not what we do. The sampling unit, the sampling frame would be the classroom. So in our case, the sampling unit is, is the newspaper, is this, is this edition, right? So there might, be, there might be a Huntington Beach oil spill where every single article is, or just about, you know, a huge number of articles are about the environment, right? But on a random July afternoon, maybe not. Maybe there's hardly any, right? 
So we want to look at that variation. And so, so the, the, the sampling unit here is the paper, is the newspaper. And so that's what I've done down here. So, so that's what I have. So here's somebody did a, did a survey on uh, March 27th, 2011, and then somebody else did a paper from April 17th, 2011, et cetera. So now these lines down here um, are the total number of things just, and, and, and there's, there's ways to do this really simply, but, but to illustrate to you guys, I'm trying to do it in steps so it makes more sense, right? Everybody cool with me? Everybody making sense? Okay. So this is just like, so this was just, this was just, this was add up all the numbers, dude, right? What we did, we did down here, what, we did down here was, if you meet a certain condition, add up all these numbers. And so the condition is any time we had this date. So if that date was in the row, then add those dudes up, yeah? And so now here, instead of like 10,000, there was 107 uh, uh, art, uh, uh, articles on this, in this edition. This one was 124, this one's 120. Like, get, get what we're doing? So we're doing it per sampling thing. And uh, yeah, and so then, um, yeah, yeah. And so then this is, this is the proportion for that newspaper. So for that newspaper, a quarter of the articles were about sports. Does that make sense? So now we have, this, and this, this is the stuff we can do data, this is the stuff you can use to do calculations, right? So this is, um, for 2011, we had one, two, three, four, five, six papers. For 2012, we had one, two, three, three papers. For 2014, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 11, right? So, so we can start to go from there. Cool, make sense? Okay, so, um, so I'm just gonna pause here for a second because now we wanna do a little bit of checking. So um, uh, when, we, when we break in a second, you guys, will, you guys will do this. So this is our file now, but check it out. So, um, okay, okay, things, and so I want you to get familiar with eyeballing the data. So we're gonna come down here and start eyeballing this data, okay? All right, checking it out, that's cool, all right. Uh, most of these seem to be around 100, 124, 130, 113, right? That kind of stuff. But then we have some, like this dude, 146. That seems like a lot. And we have some like this, which is 87, right? Those could be totally, that, that could be totally legit, but it's kind of like, hey, maybe that person counted, or was, was a little too aggressive with their counting, right? Or, or maybe this other person skipped a few articles or something of that nature, right? So, hmm. And then similarly, up here, right, most people have, you know, two, three, four, five articles, something like that, you know, that, that sort of order of magnitude, something like that. But then we have some folks that are like, oh yeah, no articles, or, or, or just, there's only one, none or one, right? Really? Let's take a, let's take a closer look at that and see if, that's, let's see if that makes sense. And a couple people, um, like four people, I think what happened, happened on Monday or whenever we were doing this, or last Wednesday, we're doing this, and I think the first couple people finished their articles and, and put them here and didn't put their, the tag on them to say that we'd done them, and somebody else redid them. So we have a couple newspapers that were done twice, right? Which isn't great, but it is actually interesting because we could compare them and we got different numbers. Right, so the same newspaper, different people got different numbers. So what we want to do is we want to, and, and this is, and this is not saying anybody's stupid or lame, or whatever. This is just how stuff works. Right? That's how science works. We're figuring this out. But we're going right, but we're self-correcting. So it's okay we stumble, but we're going to catch it when we stumble, and we're going to make it solid. Right. Same thing goes if we're doing this in the forest. Same thing goes if we're doing this on fish on a reef. The first few times we do stuff, who the heck knows what we're doing? I don't know. One of my favorite quotes. If you guys have had me for capstone or then you, you heard me say this, one of my favorite quotes is from Einstein. And Einstein says, if we knew what we were doing, it wouldn't be called research. Right? So the Hollywood thing of, oh my God, the monkey virus is coming, let me see here. And then like some very attractive person will sweat for 30 seconds and oh my God, and drink a lot of coffee. And then they find the answer. That's BS. That's not how science works, right? We go down this path 
And sometimes it's awesome. A lot of times it's, it's a dead end. It doesn't work right. And we have to backtrack. OK, that wasn't the right thing. Let's try this. Let's, so it's all good. So just because we stumble and just because we maybe got some things wrong, that's all. That's fine. But we self-correct is the difference between some of our other human endeavors, right? So to do this, what I'm going to do is everybody here um, is going to, uh, uh, so the data sheet is the same data sheet you had. I just, I just added these two columns right here, the, the checked by and um, uh, uh, what was updated. And so what you're going to do is, is go grab one of the papers over there. Uh, so those are all ones that people have done. As long as it's not yours, so the caveat is it's not yours. And so pick it up and, um, and, and check it real quick, right? So the first thing is going to be have a quick look and just flip through the paper and see, OK, so this, so this, this person, uh, Lillian, had, I'm going to go over here and say, OK, she had these one, two, three, four articles. OK, cool, four articles. And I'm just going to flip through real quick. Do I see any other environment related stuff, right? Travel stuff, whatever, right? And if I find some, I'm like, ooh, OK, snap. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to insert, I'm going to insert a column and add that stuff if, there's, if, there, if we miss some articles, right? And then once I do that, then I'm going to do a, then I'm going to do a quick count of all the articles and say, hey, is, the, is, is, it, is it 75? And if it is, cool. If it's like 76 or 77, that's fine. But if we get something like 120 or something, right, let's, let's have a conversation. And we probably need to update that, right? So we're just going to check each other. Make sense? Yes? All right. Rock and roll. And so if you guys brought back papers that you, didn't, that you haven't had, put them over there first before we start. So, so before we start to grab them, if you guys have papers that, you, that, you're, that aren't over there yet that are done, uh, put them over there, and, and then we'll go. Is, is that anybody, does anybody have any papers with, with them that they're, okay. Uh, right here. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Uh, ready, steady, go.